Hi, welcome back. We're on episode 7 of our Skyrim Let's Play through with Torin Greymere. Let's get a look at him again. It's his miserable face, miserable scarred, weather-beaten face from years on the road. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're on the way to Nilheim to kill a bandit leader. We're getting hungrier and hungrier, so last time I was thinking of maybe um, uh, setting up camp somewhere nearby and um, cooking some food maybe uh, so yeah we might do that because we're yeah we're feeling weaker and weaker our stamina is going further and further down um, and we also got killed by a saber cat last time um, I'm not sure if we're gonna stand a chance against the same saber cat if he's there uh, so, for the moment, let's find a nice spot to go camping. Uh, oh, yep. Or oh, you are drained, yeah. Our magicka bar looks like we're starting to feel tired as well. Um, if you don't use magicka, I'm not sure if like tiredness will have any effect on the actual gameplay while you're playing, um, or if maybe you'll pass out eventually. What's that sound? Oh, it's him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll f we might find out if we uh, spend too long in Nilheim. So, maybe here, look, this is a nice nice view of the waterfall on one side and the mountains on the other. Um, and maybe we can sleep here on the way back as well. So let's get our camping gear. I've never used these before. Uh, use, build a campsite here, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Campsites allow you to rest and stay warm while exploring the wilderness. You can cook a limited number of meals over the campfire. The campsite is marked on your map so you can locate and fast travel to it later. Although we can't fast travel because we're in survival mode. Oh, we got a little crate to sit on. Ah, it's the crate that the supplies came in. That's clever. So here's the campfire. Let's see. Oh, well, that's just great. I forgot you need salt with everything, every kind of meat you need to add salt to in Skyrim. I really don't understand why they did that. Um, how much would that rabbit haunch restore? 220 points. It sounds like a lot. Probably is a lot. Okay, uh, so I guess we just have to eat um, everything else that we've got, which is Three carrots and our lucky potato. I mean, I, he's not eating that. He'd rather starve. Um, yeah. So I wonder if we have a nap. Ooh, we got a map here as well. Oops. That's interesting. So we. Where are we? We're somewhere. Ah, here we go. Somewhere around here, I think. Um. Maybe about here? I don't know. Anyway, um, I wonder if we have a, a nap, will we um, regain, regain any health? Let's see. Sleep. Let's have a nap for uh, two hours, see what happens. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, that's really good to know. But the stamina situation is getting worse and worse. So if we don't have salt, we can't uh, can't really do anything. We can sit on our crate. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll find salt in Fort Nilheim. Now, I guess we don't want to go down there. We want to go over these mountains. And that's good. It's marked the campsite on our map, I think. So when we come back through here, we can find it again. I 
I will just quick save after doing that. <clears throat> oh, famished now. This is this is bad. Who's that? Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you. Oh, it's you. the same Relax, guy. If you're interested. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can both take him on. Ah! Oh, that's all my stamina gone. Where is he? There's a big splat of blood. He's dead instantly. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Somehow I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, what have we got? No, we don't want our stamina restoring slower. Um, okay. Ah! We don't, we don't stand a chance against that saber cat. Okay, right, so we've learned a valuable lesson here. It's don't just follow that road. We need we need to find a better way around. Oh, the cliffs are too high. Let's see. Oh shit, he's there already. And it, he's just killed the guy instantly again. Oh shit, he's detected us now. Alright. Skyrim, all the Bethesda games actually, they're never very good when your control system is very good for climbing up steep surfaces. Never works properly. Oh, look at that. Might be some salt in there. I've got a feeling the saber cat is about to reappear. But, oh, cabbages, yeah. Cabbages, apples. Ooh! Pickpocket increased to 16. Didn't know I had any pickpocketing skill. Maybe we'll read that later. Um, empty sack. Okay. Ah! I don't think we've got any chance of outrunning him. Oh, now we're just back here in the same place. Okay. Uh, let's just leg it. Although, we've got no stamina to run away. <laughs> that was the slowest attack ever! Oh no, there's... Great, level up after we die. Okay, there is no way we are going to be able to do that. Oh, famished. I'm guessing the reason we're having these problems is because, firstly, because of survival mode, which is fine. That's what I signed up for. Um, and also... <laughs> oh, brutal. Poor to the face. Um, and also because uh, the alternate start mod... What's he doing now? Fighting an animal. That's good. Keep him distracted. The alternate, the ultimate, ultimate, alternate start mod um, has put us, um, you know, not in the usual starting location for the game. And I'm not sure how the leveling system works, like leveling of enemies and things in Skyrim. I know it's different to Oblivion, where all the enemies leveled up with you, which seemed a bit ridiculous. So you could get killed by a rat if really easily if you were a high level thief because you hadn't done much combat or something. Um, it's not like that. So I think it's more like the areas have um, different kind of difficulties of, of combat. Okay. Different creatures in different areas. He's being swept away in the rapids. <laughs> well, he's on a rock now. See, this is where a bow would come in useful, isn't it, actually? Could be, could be maybe a good thing to uh, to learn archery. Right, yeah, you stay there. <laughs> okay, right. Well, that's that problem dealt with. See, there's always a solution in Skyrim. If you think you can't get past something, just try again. Now, I guess we're going to need to eat all those vegetables we found. Um, Hmm. 
Nothing, really. We need a proper meal, I think. Okay. Still on the mountainside. This is a... Uh, this is turning out to be harder than we thought. Uh, this bandit killing mission. I don't know why they care about these bandits when they're so far from the town. If I follow the path, that might be the best thing to do. It could be a path that leads through the mountains. So let's try that. No sign of the saber cat. Oh, what was that? That's weird. I think maybe the sun just went down behind the mountain. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Bit of a weird way for the sun to set though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we're almost there. I know I've been saying that since the last episode, but but this time I can feel it. Gourds! Wild gourds. Let's eat it. Two points of hunger. Great. Didn't know gourds grew in the wild in Skyrim. Maybe that's the only one that there is. Oh. Rabbit. It's a rabbit. Oh no, there's more here. Okay. Um... So, here's the river. What's that? Please be a wolf. Yes, it's a wolf. Okay. <laughs> the way he swings this sword, it's so slow. And I can't tell if that's uh, because of our stamina being low, or if it's just the normal speed for swinging a two-handed sword. Wow, look at this sunset. These god rays are a bit weird. Coming down from the sky, that's what you call those things. There! Ooh. Okay, it's getting a bit chilly because the sun's going down. But there, that's Nilheim Tower. Oh, famished again. I should have um, should have set up camp here, really, shouldn't I? Anyway. I think we're going to be fighting against hunger the whole time and and I think it's probably best to every visit every trader that we find and um, buy up all their salt or or chalcum oh that's quite valuable I think it's what the orcs make their gear out of okay here we go another quick save because You've seen me have to redo bits of this over and over again enough, I think. We don't want to be constantly repeating the same stuff. Okay, let's not get swept over the edge and killed, tragically. Alright, here we go. Now, he's grumpy when he's not hungry, so right now I imagine he's completely enraged. And he's looking forward to uh, taking on these bandits, eating their food, taking their salt. Nilheim. There's a lot of ore in these mountains. But, uh, yeah, not really interested in it. Okay, let's find them. Ooh, what's this? Alright, well, they're lookout, lookout guys doing a great job. Is that? Ah, okay. Chopping wood. Maybe there's a campfire there. <laughs> Hello. I'm here to kill you. Anyone got a problem with that? Oh. Need Who are something? These people? Need something? Uh, yes, the head of the local bandit. Need leader. something? Who are you? Uh, very strange. Not quite sure. 
what's going on here? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, they're not hostile, so let's... Um, ooh, we can warm up a bit by the fire, although we're going inside in a second. Okay, they're not hostile. Let's just kind of leave them be. I'm not even sure if they are bandits. There's a lot of weird things going on in this playthrough. Vampires running down the road in the day and non-hostile bandits that just want to be left alone. Uh, oh, this is bizarre. Hmm? It, excuse me, this is Nilheim, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nilheim. Well, I guess uh, we were Iron Club, eh? We were sent here to do a job and um, we better get on and do it. Uh, so let's Let's get started. Need something? <laughs> that was terrible. I feel like I just murdered someone. Oh, that was him. Wow. All right. <laughs> Are these even bandits? So the uh, it is it's an Uriel just uh, getting us to kill innocent people for no reason. 156, 159, antique iron sword. Is it any good? I don't know. It's too heavy to carry. Um, right, well, that was the bandit leader. That was quite anticlimactic. I guess I should kill the rest of his gang as well. I'm basically. Um, basically feel like an assassin at this point. Potion of regeneration. Pretty sword gem. 4x, we can't take. 34 gold. Oh, oh god, look at this. Even one asleep. Are we gonna kill someone in their sleep as well? This isn't what mercenaries do. <laughs> but uh well, that's what we gotta do. <laughs> wow, that's very strange. Okay. Oh yes! See Ed Slaughterfish, we need that. Hmm. Yeah, look at this, because of our carrying capacity being so bad. Uh, we really can't take anything with us, so it um, could take us a while to build up the uh, build up the money that we need. Oh, great! Salt. That's what we want. Five salt leather strips, very useful for making camping gear. Yeah, potatoes. We can do baked potatoes on the campfire when we get back to it. Uh, right. Let's see what else they've got. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's um, quite a strange situation to be in, really. I wasn't expecting that. Food is going to be the most valuable stuff for looting in this playthrough, I think. Um, probably... What's the... What's the... Um, Heaviest thing, Nord Mead. Still carrying too much. Okay, let's just let's drop the mead. We still got wine. There we go. Oh dear, our oh, stamina is regenerating very slowly. Yeah, so there was the bandit leader. He was just called Guard. Um. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if any of you have ever seen anything like this before in Skyrim because right now I just feel like someone from the Dark Brotherhood, really. Right, now I've been reliably informed that the rest of you are bandits as well and you don't Need deserve something? to live. No! <laughs> okay. They don't care about each other either. Yes. Hey, watch it. How can I see? Ah! Oh god, that made me feel terrible. <laughs> well, right. Uh, I wonder if this is um, one of those times when uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Well, we can rob all their stuff, as they are bandits. Wacky Zashi and Antique Iron Sword. But uh, yeah, let's take what we can take. Um, 
just feels so strange, like I've just uh, overburdened again. Like I've just um, can't been a bandit myself, basically. It's like some weird twist in a film. Uh, okay, we're going to take everything and then we'll just leave the stuff we don't want. Hopefully we don't have to worry about the saber cap that's roaming around somewhere. <laughs> if someone walks past this campsite later on from a distance, they won't be able to tell. Right, let's take your food. Hopefully there's no blood on it. Uh, slaughterfish scales, eh? Be useful. Now we can cook up all these bits and pieces with our salt uh, on the campfire, can't we? Okay, um, I wonder if it's got something to do with that Immersive Citizens mod. I don't know why, but that's the only thing that... Uh, that's not it. It's the only thing I can think that it might be. Let's have a look at this. Hmm. Choose NPC who's, who's you want to know position. Wow, great. Uh, we don't really need any of this. There was, I don't think there was much on the, um, on the web page. Oh, great. Can we not? Oh, we can use it. Okay. Update or reboot. Disable weather. Do you want to disable the influence of the weather? No. I don't understand that. Maybe it's related to that. Um, you know what? Uh, hold on one moment and I'm going to look into it. Like that problem we had with the survival mode thing the other day. Okay, so uh, we're on the Elder Scrolls wiki here, and um, it says Nilheim is a Nordic tower in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Blah, blah, blah. Interactions. If approached on the road, the Dragonborn will come upon a camp with three non-hostile guards who are dressed like bandits and are initially non-hostile, unless the Dragonborn talks to Telrav first, who is across the bridge from Nilheim. Blah, blah, blah. So that's... Um, some kind of little interaction with with this guy Telrav, which makes them go hostile. So uh, yeah, that's quite strange. It seems like it's just uh, uh, part of the game. Um, so that guy Telrav, he doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> so we'll leave them. We'll leave those dead guys. I mean, they were bandits, but they weren't currently hostile to me, I guess. So that that would probably happen if this was real, you know. Um, okay, so there's the campsite. Let's go back there. So let's see what we can drop. Uh, six pounds of gear we need to drop. Um, hide armor. Uh, shoes yeah okay well yeah that was uh, a bit of an anti-climax but um, you know a job's a job for Torin Greymere he'll do it this Telrav guy I wonder if he's down here doesn't seem like it <laughs> and uh, what do we have here oh Grab it, grab it. Lunar moth. Yes. Lunar moth wings. Both of them. Great. Yeah, well, look at this. They were obviously robbing traders on the road, so they deserved it. They even left some stuff lying around here as well. Don't need that. Uh. Oh. Ah! There he is! <laughs> Hello. Right, hopefully you can see him. It's so dark. Look at that. My stamina is going down because I'm carrying too much stuff. I didn't know that happens. Okay. Uh... Right. Now, what's the what's the meaning of all this? Are they gone? Are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? Oh. Uh, what can I do? 
My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. Oh, I think I know what's happening here. Is this some kind of honey trap type deal? It's just across the bridge and up back here. They're always doing things like this in uh, Elder Scrolls games. Bandits. Sneaky buggers. All of them. We're close now. I can see the camp. Wait here. I'll be right back with your reward. Yeah, go and Never speak to your friend over here. there. Oh! <laughs> Look at that, he doesn't even have a weapon. And he's realised what's happened. Oh! Oh! Brutal. He deserved that. That's what you get for being sneaky. Ambushing people. Imagine um, what went through his head when he came up here, saw his friend sitting there and then realised she was actually quite dead. Okay. See if we can... Ah, uh, oh, obviously. Ah! But he did have a longbow. Maybe we should try and take this with us, you know. Because if we're going to be making these long journeys, we'll need to do some hunting with the bow and arrow, I think. Um, okay, so... Oh, look at this. We can't we can't carry anything. We've got some weapons, and that's about it. Uh, let's drop that and then drop some potatoes or something. Hmm, or the sacks of flour. Still too loaded up. There we go. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Let's go back to town or back to our campsite first, which is over there. Now, is it on this side of the river or not? Wow, it's all the way down there. Okay. Well, hopefully we won't die down here. I think we leveled up, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for confirming that game. Uh, now, is this a good idea or not? Look at that. Interesting. That's not the uh, mountain pass entrance that we found before, is it? This is insane. Why am I doing this? I should really pay more attention to what I'm doing. Okay. I think we may have to uh, dive in and hope for the best. I, this is completely ridiculous. I don't know why I did this. So let's just try it. Uh, oh, <laughs> disaster! This is this is not going well at all. Okay. So it's the, the evening before again, um, and uh, let's get this over and done with. Okay, so let's find our way back down to our camp. There's the bridge. This is a pretty um, inhospitable part of Skyrim, really, isn't it? It's quite hard to get around. Oh yeah, this is the way we approached from in the evening. Yeah, Torin really can't wait to get to bed now. He's so tired and hungry. Now that he's got all that salt, uh, he can finally um, have a nice hot meal. Now, where's the camp? Oh, it's not even marked on the compass now. There, there, okay. So, northeast. Hey! That's dangerous. <laughs> okay. I guess this is the boring part of the mission. But it's fine. We'll get back there. Uh, let's hope the um, Saber Cat is still stuck on his little island. It is a real shame we couldn't really take much of the loot. Oh! Ah! Look at that! He's dead! Killed by a soldier. He's got an arrow sticking in him. That's amazing. Who is this guy? 
If you know any Stormcloak soldier and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Wow. Well, you know what? Torrens may be wondering if these Stormcloaks are onto something. They seem to be very well trained if uh, they're able to kill a saber cat single handedly with a bow. Look at that. One in the one in the side and one right in the forehead. Oh, not single handedly. The other one is uh still here. Okay. Um well Look at this, you just left left all of this stuff. So he has a hunting bow. We got that longbow. Um let's get these arrows. Uh and I'm sure ooh, he had eaten a garnet. Yeah, this saber cat pelt will be very useful in terms of leather. And of course, we need to drop some stuff again. So, we've got a steel dagger that we don't need. Weighs two and a half. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Scavenge some more useful stuff as well. These aren't really useful for anything, are they? I think maybe um, uh, when you're building your house, <clears throat> when you're building your house, you can um, do stuff with them in in your home, like put them on the wall or something. Okay, leg of goat and two silver garnet rings in the stomach of a goat. Those are possibly the best two bits of loot that we picked up on this whole mission. And they just came from a random goat. Bizarre. Okay. We definitely need to get back to camp without getting killed. Or collapsing from exhaustion. Or starvation. Or just um, a general um, existential crisis that he probably goes through every day. Here we are, back at camp, finally. So, um, yeah, Torin's going to cook up some of this stuff by the fire. And I think we'll leave him to do that. So um, we will see you next time here at Nod to the Strange in this Skyrim playthrough. Take care, give us a like and subscribe. Bye.